Hey what's going on everyone today I'm going to show you how you can improve your audio from this This is the audio you can directly hear from the camera to this This is the audio after the effects I'm going to show you today In case you guys are new to this channel, hi I am Riposan and in this channel I review tech and camera gears and tips and tricks like this If you guys are interested on those consider subscribing and hit that bell notification icon so that you guys can be notified when I release a new video. Without further ado, let's jump into Premiere Pro. So hey guys, so first start your Premiere Pro and drop down your clips here in the project panel. I have created a timeline with the two clips. This is how the audio sounds without the effects. This is the audio you can directly hear from the camera to this. And this one we will improve. So let's start first. We have to loop everything this this part so that we don't have to play every time we put any effect. This is a bonus tip how you can loop things. Uh, first you will put in the starting of the clip and press I for the input point and at the end you will put O for the output point and you can open this this button this is for the loop and if you don't find this button you will just press this plus icon and the loop thing and just drag and drop here i will not do it because it's already there okay we'll go to our effects tab and find parametric equalizer first type parametric equalizer so i already put everything in my presets so if i open here so first i will put parametric equalizer and it it goes here so we will press edit and here we will try to fix the lower end of the clip so let's play it so you can see this lower end is very low so we will update it this one this one to 130 to 125 like we can we can play the clip while we are doing it effects control so you can hear it's going to improve so put it in 26 and the lower decibel will be i will try to put it in 10 and press this one for the steepest one so after that that's done then we will put the mastering and in mastering we'll try to enable the low shelf thing and also add the reverb disable zero percent so now how it sound let's see it's already sounding better now we will try to add multiband compressor and don't worry about it if you don't find it i will i already created a preset i will share that preset on that link and you will put that preset on your sound and it will sound very good so now after multiband compressor we have to edit it like let's play it so see the lower end is very low so we will put the lower end in the yellow bar and the gain we want 10 So done. So without further ado, let's start the video. This is the audio after, after that we have one more, the hard limiter, so that our audio doesn't cross our limit. So try to check the limit to minus three decibel. See how it's affecting. It's getting very good. And the last effect we will put like the denoise. It will remove every noise in the back end. So this is the audio after the effects I'm going to show you today. Okay. So without further ado, let's start the yeah. video. This is the audio after the effects so I'm going to show you today. I think we are so done now. Further ado, let's, start. let's see how it sounds. So to remove the input and output, Alt X in Mac. So this is the audio after the effects I'm going to show you. So this is the audio without the effect. This is the audio you can directly hear from the camera to this. And this is the audio after the effect. This is the audio after the effects I'm going to show you today. So without further ado, let's start the video. So yeah, that's it. So if you guys are confused like how we can 
put all that things into our audio don't worry about it i already shared a link of my preset just download it and like put it here and uh, you can just drag and drop to your clip and it will work as a charm so let me show you how you can do it like go to your clip effects control and we will remove all the effects we already added so let's select so these are the five effects we already added so remove it so it will sound like the old so after that when you open the preset this preset desk room audio correction preset just put it here next time we'll be Voila. Sure today. it so sounds like a magic let's start the video this is the audio you can so it sounds the without the effect this is the audio after the effects i'm going to show you today this so is with the video, effect let's yeah the that's it if you like this video please do consider subscribing to this channel and if you want more videos like this let me know in the comment section so that's the quick one see you in the next video